Hey, uh, I'm Clint from 6665D No Solution, and we're gonna get started with our explanation video. Uh, this is a bot we've been running this whole fall semester at our school, and we're just making an explanation video before we start rebuilding. Uh, starting out, we're gonna talk about our drivetrain. Uh, when we started building, we didn't really have any of the smaller wheels. We only had the four-inch wheels, so we decided to go with a 300 RPM uh, four-inch drive. Uh, it's kind of fast, or well, not really fast, but it has fast. It's faster than most things. And uh, uh, geared down from 600, uh, 36 to 72. Um, and you want to talk about the intake? No, I want to talk about intake. <laughs> uh, it's Jacob, and I'm going to explain the clamp and the intake. So, so we have a two-piston. We have a two-piston clamp right here. And we decided to do it instead of like straight up and down because uh, we decided to do it with the lever design because the straight up and down ones, you're at the mercy of air pressure there. So if you're like at 30 PSI, it's going to fall out. No, not, it's not going to fall out, but yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's an auto clamp. You want to do that later? I'll talk about it. Later. Okay. Um, and that is best friend with our intake. So on the ground, it's running at... <laughs> 600 RPM, um, so, and that's in line with our drivetrain, like linear speed. He has a whole calculator for it because he's fancy. Um, so when we drive into it, it uh, when we drive into it, it's at the same speed as our drivetrain, so it just uh, like sucks it right up. Love sucking. <laughs> uh, and then that uh, gears into our um, 450 hook, uh, 450 RPM hooks. So, um, it's 36 to 48, I've been told. Um, <laughs> um, so, if we want to just do like a side view of that, without my mic. <laughs> this is, a color sword is also included. So, as you can see, we use that in conjunction with a small sprocket, so it just like flips over. And then... Oh yeah, and then the flex wheels that keeps it like all flat and such, so it like seamlessly goes onto the clamp. I'm sure you've seen that in like 90% of the other teams here. Um, and we also to finish that off, we have color sort, which works on this color sensor right here. Uh, you would see it if we flip the robot around, but we're not doing that. <laughs> um, and that also that works with this uh, limit switch, which is right here, if you can see it, uh, which is part of our redirect, which we will get into later with Mr. Hunter and the yellow over here. Um, so, the color sensor detects what, co what color it is, and then it tells, then the limit switch is like, yo, it's right here now. So then uh, it goes up, and stops right here, and it flies off, hopefully into Hunter's face. And then that leads us into redirect and uh, neutral stick mech with Hunter. All right. So. Okay, so with the redirect, we use this hopper, like Jacob said, to detect where the rings are. So if, thank you. Okay, so when this is extended, we have a macro for Carlos. When he hits X, it'll start the intake very slowly. And so, hit X. <laughs> so when we hit X, it gets it into there, and then Carlos usually has to shake it a little bit to get it perfect. <laughs> there. Okay. And then we also we use this little uh, rubber banded latch to keep it. It's a one way latch that keeps it inside of this little basket so that it doesn't uh, come back out when it goes up. Okay. So that, that solo is a little broken right now. But when it goes up, no, the song. <laughs> <laughs> when this goes up, it, it, it works. It just works. <laughs> and then he usually has to hit the wall for it to actually score perfectly so that it can't be taken off. Um, to in, to in order to do that macro that we talked about, <laughs> uh, we have this limit switch, like Jacob said. That um, once it, once the ring clears the hopper, the intake the the limit switch gets pushed down, so so that it, um, so that the robot knows where the hook is or where the ring is, so that it can reverse it 
at the right time. At every time yeah, we try like to do said. it. Okay, right, and then we we also have this doinker which Carlos wanted to talk about. Uh, okay. God. So. <laughs> God. <clears throat> oh, we're not doing it in segments like you said. What do you mean nah. segments? Okay. Oh, we just so. Okay. <laughs> doing it raw. raw dog anyway. So, while I drive, I uh, take notice of some problems I encountering. It's right here. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. The first problem I encountered was uh, the clamp. Since I was on one side of the field and I was driving to the other side of the field, I couldn't see the back of the bot, which means I don't know if the latch is clamped or not. Uh, <clears throat> my buddy here, Clint, he called the bot for me to be easier to manage while driving, for me to make less mistakes. Um, and there's a lot of stuff like that. Not just the clamp, but also the wall rollers. Uh, which obviously helps me roll against the wall, like the name says. <laughs> and then the other problem I encountered was the ranks in the back. <laughs> I kept getting stuck in the corner, so I designed this doinker to make it easier. With my water clamp. Okay, so I program. So I made a bunch of easy stuff. Or stuff that makes Carlos's life easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff that makes life's Car Carlos's life easier. Starting out with the auto clamp that we have. Um, there's a distance sensor right underneath here that's zip tied on. The best way to put stuff on. Um, when he's holding it, it clamps when it goes in. Wow. Now the the hard part, the hard part that somehow I got working was now when you press it again it doesn't just it doesn't just clamp it again it actually lets go good luck with that um <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 um our design is kind of jank so this latch has a lot of leverage but the problem with it is that it hits our hooks if the latch is open so when Carlos runs the intake, um, it opens automatically, so it never gets uh, stuck. It is closed. It's 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 open. Open. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, and then there's the redirect that uh, Jacob talked about when the color sort sees that. Um, the optical sensor sees the color. Uh, it's inside our intake. Um, it's I found the optical sensor not very reliable for. Um, uh, goal. I found the optical sensor not very reliable for uh, seeing like where exactly the ring is, only for detecting the color. Yeah. It's not very fast. And it's also really bad at the red. Well, that's because I didn't tune it. Yeah. But uh, so I use a limit switch based off a redirect system to see. There's a limit switch right here that's tuned, so when it's up like this, the limit switch isn't engaged, and when it's down, the limit switch is engaged. So can you run the intake? Um, so run it to like here. Yeah, so when it's like this, it sees that the red it's a red with the optical sensor, and when it gets to around here, it sees that... Oh, I think it ran macro. Um, it sees that it's right at the height of the flip, so it just stops it and then sends it flying. Uh, that's how the color sort works. We have an inertial sensor on the back, obviously. Uh, and for odometry... For Adam tree, we have two tracking wheels, uh, screw joint Adam, the best thing in the world. Tiny, works. Yeah, rubber banded, so it touches the floor. Um, also, um, my proud invention of the GUI on here. Right now, it's set to the bot being on the red alliance, or not. It's set on the red alliance. So if we take in red rings, it's going to score red rings. Can you take it? Yeah, this is used for color store and also for choosing autons. And now if we take in a blue, it's going to miss it. Now I can go on my screen here, and I can change it to blue. And now, if we score blue, it's going to it's gonna score those instead. And then reds, it's going to miss. 
Um, that's used for autons and also for color sorting. And I have other buttons for skills and elam autons and all that, but I haven't made those yet. Um, there's also a debug menu for like seeing autom values and everything. So it's pretty useful. Um, yeah. Y'all have anything else? Follow 6865D, no solution on Instagram. <laughs> we'll link it in the description. I'll make Kobe do that. We also have a... No, I'm not going to plug that. Yeah, do that. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs>